Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in last video we have seen what is the string and how many ways we can create the string. In today's video we are going to see when we create the string using the new keyword and when we create the string using the literals, what is the difference and behind the scene how it works, how many objects will be created and where exactly that objects will be stored in the memory. Okay. So here we have one string str and inside that str we have stored the value hello. Okay, this string we have created using the new keyword. Now let's see what will happen. Okay, so here we have the memory area. So this is our heap memory. And inside this heap memory we have the string constant pool. Okay, so now whenever we are creating the string literals or the constant, that time JVM first will create the object inside the string constant pool. Okay, so here this hello is the string constant. So one object will create inside this string constant pool. Okay, and here this value will be stored. Now we are creating this string object using the new keyword. So one more object will create inside this heap memory. Okay, so here this object will be stored the value hello and this str will point to this object. Okay, so here how many objects got created? Two objects created, one in the string constant pool and one in the heap memory area. Okay, but the reference of this string will always point to the object which is created inside the heap memory area. So uh, you may think that who will point to this object which is created inside the string constant pool okay so here jvm will create the reference to point to this object which is created inside the string constant pool okay now let's suppose we have the another string string str2 is equal to new string And here we are writing the value world. Okay. Now what will happen? This is the string constant. So again one object will create inside this string constant pool. And this value world will be stored inside this object. And one object will create inside this heap memory area. Okay. So two objects will be created. One in the string constant pool and one in the heap memory area. And this str2 will point to the object which is inside the heap memory area okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now let's see when we create the string using the literals that time how many objects will be created and where exactly that objects will be stored okay so let's remove this one so now here we have created one more string and uh, this string we have created using the string literals okay now let's see what will happen in the memory area okay so this is our heap memory area and inside this heap memory area we have this string constant pool okay so jvm will check inside this string constant pool is there already a object with the same content available so inside the string constant pool we don't have anything now so here the object will create okay and this hello will be stored inside this string constant pool object and this str will point to this object okay so when we create the object using the string literals that time only one object will be created which is inside the string constant pool and when we create the object using the new keyword that time two objects will be created one inside the heap memory area and one inside the string constant pool okay so first let's create the string here so string str1 is equal to new string and here we are going to store hello okay now what will happen we already seen so let's draw our memory area so this is our heap memory and inside this heap memory we have the string constant pool 
so here this hello is the constant so one object will create inside the string constant pool and one object will create inside the heap memory area because we are creating this string using the new keyword so here one object will create and this str1 will point to the object which is inside the heap memory area okay so till now it's clear now let's create the one more object string str2 is equal to new string and inside this string also let's keep the same content hello okay now what will happen so this is the string constant so first jvm will check inside the string constant pool is there already a object with the content hello available or not okay so inside this string constant pool we already have one object with the content hello so that in string constant pool the object will not create now this string we have created using this new keyword so inside this heap memory area one object will create with the content hello and this str2 will point to the newly created object okay now here how many objects got created only one object is created inside the heap memory area but in string constant pool as we already have the object with the same content so no object creation happen in the string pool okay so that conclusion is that inside the string constant pool the duplication is not allowed or the duplicate objects are not allowed okay but in the heap memory area whenever we create the string using the new keyword always a new object will create and that string reference will point to that newly created object okay now let's see if we create the object using the literal and the same uh, content if we create then what will happen so here i am creating the string str1 is equal to hello okay so this string we have created using the string literal so in memory first jvm will check inside the string constant pool okay so this is our heap memory and this is our string constant pool so first jvm will check inside the string constant pool is there already an object with the hello content so currently we don't have any object so one object will create inside the string constant pool and this str1 will point to this object okay now let's create the another object with the same content so here string str2 is equal to hello now what will happen this is also a string literal so again jvm will check inside this string constant pool is there already a object with the content hello so here we got one object str1 which contains this hello okay now no object will create inside this string pool and this str2 will also point to the already created object okay so in this case how many objects created only one object is created and the another reference of this string str2 will also point to the already created object okay so now if we do str1 is equal to str2 then what will be the result we are going to get true why because str1 and str2 both the references are pointing to the same object okay now let's open the ide and see so here first let's create the object using the new keyword string str1 is equal to new string and here I am passing the value as a hello okay now in this case one object is created inside our string constant pool and one object will create inside the heap memory area okay now let's create the another object string str2 is equal to new string and here also we are going to pass the same value okay now if we compare these two objects let's compare if str1 is equal to str2 then here we will get the statement objects 
are same okay but in the else block let's print objects are not same okay now let's run this program so here what output we are getting objects are not same why we are getting this output because here the str1 will create inside the string constant pool and inside the heap memory area and this reference will always point to the object created inside the heap memory area okay now this str2 will also create one more object inside the heap memory area and will point to that newly created object so both these string references are pointing to the different objects that's why we are getting the answer as a objects are not same okay now let's comment this section and check for the string which we have created using the string literal so string str1 is equal to hello and here we are creating the another string str2 is equal to hello okay in this case what will be the output let's see so here let's copy the same part now here what will happen first the object will create inside the string constant pool and this str1 will point to that object created inside the string pool now when we are writing string str2 is equal to hello that time jvm will check inside the string pool is there already an object with the same content okay so we have one object str1 and the content are hello that's why jvm will not create the new object and this str2 will also point to the already created object okay so that's why here when we compare string 1 is equal to string 2 that time we are going to get the answer objects are same because this condition will be true so let's run the program and see see here we are getting the output as objects are same okay so i hope this is clear to everyone so let's summarize what we have seen in this video so very first we have seen when we create the object using the new keyword that time two objects will create okay one in the string constant pool and one in the heap area okay but when we create the object using the string literals that time only one object will create inside the string constant pool okay now when we are creating the another object using the new keyword with the same content that time how many objects will create that time only one object will be created inside the heap memory area and in string constant pool the already created object is there okay and when we are creating the new string object with the same content using the string literal that time what will happen it will check inside string constant pool is there already a object then we are going to get the str1 so no object will create and this str2 will also point to the already created object we have seen the implementation as well here now it's clear to everyone if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you